Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a card project for you. I enjoyed doing them in Spring Watch and it seemed you did too, so I thought I'd bring another one to you. Now, um, we've got really appalling lighting here today. It is not a nice day at all. Um, but I showed you in Spring Watch my techniques for how I do my layering. But this one, I've got a bigger border. So I just wanted to sort of talk you through it rather than, you know, just leave you guessing blindly. So. As you know, when I'm making a card, I work in International A4, so it doesn't matter the size that you work with, but I make it, I cut a sheet of cardstock in half and score it in half, and I do like my tenfold cards, which is what these are called. When you, when you stand a card like that, it's called a tenfold, so I like that shape. Now, I know the size of my cardstock, but I wanted a deeper board around it, and um, so normally I would say, your first mat and layer would be half an inch shorter and narrower or a quarter of an inch. Now this one is one and a half centimetres narrower and one and a half centimetres shorter so I've got a much bigger coloured border. Now for those of you who work in Imperial, make yours three quarters of an inch smaller and then your layer over the top, make that half an inch to make it smaller. So in my case I've made this one um, one and a half centimetres shorter, one and a half centimetres narrower, and then this one is just half centimetre. So this has got a thin border, but that has got the big border. Hope that makes sense. So like I say, if you're working in Imperial, make this three quarters of an inch, and then the difference between these two, half an inch, and you will get that nice pretty border. So I like that. I like cards that, you know, where the background colour is a statement as much as anything and actually I went with the elegant eggplant because I did a periscope the other day. If you haven't found me on periscope I'm at Sam Pootles where you can just do a search for Pootles and it's a free app on Android and on, on iPhones or Apple whatever they called it. Is it the Play Store? App Store? I don't know but anyway it's a free app and you can see me. I do live streaming there and I was telling everybody the other day about how I work with my colours and I spin my colour caddy, grab a colour blindly and then spin it and grab another one and I pulled out elegant eggplant um, as an example so I decided to work with it and I decided I was going to get the awesomely artistic stamp set out which I love and it makes very quick and very easy cards so I'm going to show you how I put one together um, okay I had chatted for two and a half minutes but I was showing you, you know my layering um, but they make very quick cards and I went with um, Elegant Eggplant and Marina Bist and Smoky Slate. And I've gone for Cherry Cobbler this time, partly so that you can see the difference, partly because I love the colour. And I've got Blushing Bride this time. So, ink up your stamp. Determine roughly where you want it to go. Stamp it down. Easy. That's that bit done. Um, so I can put that one away. And then I want the little speckledy bits. So I've got those onto a smaller block. Smoky slate again. And just stick them where you fancy, really. No science to it. And then I've got my cherry cobbler. And I'm going to take the dragonfly from this. Now, I am not somebody who does fussy cutting um, because I like to craft quickly. I'm not a particularly steady hand, so I am going to be brave and stamp straight onto this. Now, I would suggest to you, always test on your grid paper, your scrap paper first. See, look, I'm, I can see now I've pressed too hard, which I did there, but we're going to cover that up. So if I happen to make that same mistake again, I'll show you how I cover. Um, and I haven't, actually, I haven't made that mistake. Whew, thank goodness for that. So I'm just going to let that dry for a second because I'm going to put Wink of Stella on. And you can see I've got this thanks here, but I've got some of my poodle loops underneath. And lots of people ask me about those and how I do them. So I'm going to do my thanks first, which is from the Cottage Greeting stamp set. Now this is one, you can buy it on its own or you can buy it to go with the card kit. Um, and I, I did actually buy it to go with the card kit, but I have used it lots on its own. So, back in with some smoky slate. And down there. And then I've got a washi label punch. I did have a. Oh, I didn't even get it out. 
There we go, the washi label punch, which is a lovely punch and it's perfect for wording. Grab that. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. A couple on there. And I'm going to show you how I do my little poodle loops. Well, they're actually just loops, but um, lovely Linda coined the phrase poodle loops. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some adhesive roughly where I want my linen thread to, where I want my glue part to go. Chop off a length of maybe, I don't know, what's that, 12 inches? 30 centimetres? There is a kink to it, so grab your scissors and just go over where the kink is, or a bone folder. It's a bit like when you're curling ribbon and it takes that kink out, or the bulk of it. And what I do then, should I zoom in for you? Would that make life easier? Okay, so I'm going to stick this, I don't know, hopefully you can see the blue of the glue. One end in, and just, I'm bending round, and the twine is quite happily bending naturally. And finish by putting the end on there. So that's my loop stuck down and I'm just going to leave it on a close up for you for a second. And as you can see, oh yes, it's moved it out of the way. I have that error there. You'd put your um, stamping sentiment over the top. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to cover up all of that glue. And that's it covered. So if I'd made that error, as I did down there, I could have covered it up. And now I'm just going to put some Wink of Stella on. And try not to blob it, which is what happened the last time. And hopefully you can see, um, because this is quite a dark ink, it's going to sort of do a watercolour-y kind of effect, which you see it's picking up the colour a little bit. But I don't mind that too much. There you go. You can see it tinting slightly. But it's just going to give it a nice little shimmer. Oh, I've gone over the lines. And then you just clean it off, a bit like one of our blender pens. And I'm just going to dot over all of these little, all these little grey dotty bits. And that is essentially my card done. So if I just zoom back out again. And focus you. So what I do now is I'm going to stick this directly onto the black. So straight on there, and it's got a tiny little border, which is enough. I'm going to put some dimensionals on this layer. Oh, I picked up loads then, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe you don't need seven. my card just check I've got it the right way up and it will center with a perfect border all the way around and you get a little little wink of well wink of Stella a wink of glitter little whisper but it's it's a different border for you so I wanted to show you the difference and I hope you like it and it is a quick card I mean I know I've chatted away to you Paul but you know it is a very quick card to make and I hope you like it so thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon